NES Mods video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to change around colors in a Super Mario Brothers game. It's going to be real simple, and everything you learn here can apply to any other game you want to go on a mod. It's fast, easy, and uh, it's just it, it's universal in any game. So, you know, if you want to go on mod, you know, say a Metroid game, you can do that. If you want to go mod Legend of Zelda, you can do that. You can do anything you want with this. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need your ROM right here, you're going to need your emulator right here, your hex editor right here, a um, palette.tbl file right here, and uh, two extra little things, it's just uh, the palette and the notepad version, you can just open, you know, just open this up right in the notepad and look at it, and this little emulator is going to allow us to see all the colors that are used in the game, which will assist us when making the palette file. Okay, so first what we're going to do is take the ROM open up an emulator. Personally, I use Nestor because it's simple, really intuitive, and works well. And it's also, you know, a pretty small file. Alright, now, once you look Mario right here, you can see he's got his red hat, you know, jumpsuit. His skin's is sort of an orange color. And he's got his hair and, you know, I guess his undershirt or whatever it is, is a brownish color. Now, there's a fourth color involved here, and that's called the wild card color. And with any, you know, character, he's a block basically, you know, as you can kind of see he's a little blocky, he'd be a little blocky shape. And all the blue, that's actually the wild card color. And it's not actually blue, it's a clear color that displays whatever color is behind it. If you use GIMP or Photoshop, you 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 get you're familiar with this, like say you're making a PNG and you like with GIMP and you add alpha to the channel and you get when you're making the invisible parts of the picture that's essentially what it is with this okay now once you've done that you want to go ahead and open up the ROM in the second emulator SEEUXDSP now once you got it open go to tools and then op go to PPU viewer now it's going to open up a little window and it's going to have all the sprites used in the game which are here but we don't need to worry about that we're just going to be focused on the colors now one quick note, the top is typically colors used in the background, and the bottom is typically used with sprites, but it can vary in game to game, it just depends. Sometimes you can have a mix of both. It's not all that important though. Okay, now that you got that open, observe that with Mario, he's got red, brown, and orange, and, you know, his wildcard color. Now if you look right here, those are the four colors he has. Nothing else matches it up, so that has to be it right there. And what you want to do is open up Notepad. For me, I've already done this, so I've got it right here. And basically, you're going to type in the color 00, as you see, which will display right there, 16, 27, and 18, one on each line. After that, you're going to type in equal sign next to each. You're going to send each one a letter that corresponds to it, and you're just going to use later. And you need to make it in caps. Once you've done that, Gonna want to go to File, Save As. Then once you got you know the location you want, you're gonna have to go to Save Type As and select all files. Then once you've got the name of it, you're gonna have to type dot tbl, make it the dot tbl extension, which will work with your hex editor. Once you've done that, you click Save. You know, I'm not gonna do that because I've already got this finished. Uh, once you've done that, you got you know your dot tbl file, and it'll be put where you want it. I would recommend saving it where you have all your other things just to make it all one directory to make everything easier. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and take your ROM and open up in your hex editor. For this we're using a hex editor because it's a simple, no nonsense editor and works pretty well. The only thing is some you know might not figure out is to navigate between the menus up top. Since it's, uh, from what I've been able to see, it's basically built out of command prompt. You have to press escape to open up the menu and then use the arrow keys to scroll between everything to navigate. 
Okay, now once you got that oh, your ROM open, you want to go over to tables, scroll down to load table, and then since your palette.tbl file is located in the same folder, it will already be there. So you select that, and over here where you once had over here where you once had a lot of different just characters, you now have just letters and a bunch of dots. If the dot that means it was not assigned a value, and it's just of no consequence to you at all. You don't need to worry about it. Now one thing to note, you're going to see these just sporadic letters throughout here, like just seeing you know, all these Z's and everything. Basically, those are just bits of data in, that are used in the game that just happen to have the same value as, you know, the colors in the game. They don't matter to you, don't worry about it, but one thing is do not edit them or you could screw up your ROM and you'd just be wasting your time. After that, you're going to scroll over to edit go down to go to which is the only option then type in this offset zero 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 five capital e then a final zero once done hit enter take you to this line now as you can see over here right here all of these are just corresponding to you know mario all of these i mean some of them aren't used uh basically act these few right here I'm not entirely sure what they, these ones are used for, but just don't worry about them. The only ones you're going to really need to worry about are these ones. This, 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 and this. Where it says S wrong. S is my value for the uh, the wildcard color. R equals, you know, red for the, um, you know, red basically. O equals, you know, orange for the orange color. And then N, I just ran out of uh, letters so I just had to start using you know random letters okay basically we're just gonna change a few colors around we're gonna turn his hat green as you can see right here it's uh it's um uh, 1a and you just uh you know whatever you assign to your value for 1a you just type in there um once you've done that move on to the next one which you have orange for orange we're gonna turn it white so we're gonna type in whatever value you got for white then finally, for the orange color, we're going to make it something else. Let's just make that one red, just to mix it up, since we're running out of colors here. Once done, you got three new characters. It, you got the background color, or the wildcard color, which you should never change. You got, you know, the just color, you got your, you know, new hat and jumpsuit color, your new um, skin color, and your new, like, undershirt and hair color. Once done, press escape and scroll back over to file, then click save. You should get the little confirmation that says change is saved. Once done, you just click back on the window where you have your ROM located. Take the ROM and then reopen it in Nestor. You should get Mario with some completely new colors. It's a little whacked out, a little crazy, but that's all there is to it. You got his new colors and that's it. You've changed his color successfully. Now, to note, um, different objects, as you can see, would have different colors. Some are going to share the same as Mario. So beware if you, when you go to do this, um, when you when you're altering that one line that I showed you with Mario, that's just strictly Mario because he's the main character. They just made it like that. But say if you're trying to alter maybe a one of those tortoises, the red one, it shares similar colors. If you alter the palette line in here, it can accidentally change it so Mario can come out as completely different colors. So if you go to alter more things as you get more advanced, you don't have to double check a lot to make sure you're not altering the palettes listed inside or the game or anything, just to be sure. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You, Everything is done, and uh, that's about it.